Um, <laughs> look, uh, a as was said, by completing this budget, that is one big step closer toward historic tax reform, which means we're one big step closer toward a pay raise for middle-income families for hardworking taxpayers. That is who this thing is all about. It is about the people. you got to remember, more than half the people in this country are living paycheck to paycheck. And then a lot more people are living one paycheck away from living paycheck to paycheck. That is what's happening in this country. So it's about these people who are struggling to get by. It's about giving those families a real break on their taxes so that you get to keep more of your own money in the first place. It's about making this system simpler and fairer, removing the hassles and the headaches to the point you can do your taxes on the form the size of the postcard, which Steve-O just showed you. Because all that time and money that Americans spend during their taxes, that is time and money that could be better spent on other things that are important to families. In addition to all of that, we are going to help workers in a big way by leveling the playing field for American businesses, big and small. What that's going to do, it's going to help bring back jobs and capital that have gone overseas. So it is no surprise that we've already seen a number of estimates showing that this alone is going to mean more take-home pay for families, higher wages, bigger paychecks. Helping middle-income people isn't just the goal of this plan. It's the whole purpose of this plan. So adopting this budget is another sign of real momentum for tax reform, of getting the train on the tracks and getting this moving so we can deliver real tax relief and a healthier, stronger economy for the American people. I want to thank President Trump for his leadership. I want to thank him for expressing to our members just how urgent this is for the country and how needed this is for workers. As he said, we are on the verge of doing something very historic. We are on the verge of doing something that is going to make a big difference for so many families. And that is why we're excited about getting this budget moving this week and moving on to tax reform. Questions? Um, this, you guys are trying to focus, of course, this week on tax reform. So you're going to ask a question that related to tax reform? <laughs> 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 the president is coming down here to brief some of your colleagues in the Senate. supposed to be talking about tax reform. What might you say this morning is the back and forth of further escalation of the dispute with Senator Corker? What does that mean to your efforts in tax reform if the president I don't think it changes our efforts on tax reform. Um, I, I know Bob, who supported the budget, wants to get tax reform. I know the president wants to get tax reform. Um, I'm glad they're coming. I'm glad the president's coming to lunch because I've, I long believe that it's best is to settle these things in person, and I hope that they can get a chance to do that. Chairman. Okay. So you're go you, when you guys ran, we're getting up on a midterm. Last time in 2016, you traveled a lot saying Republicans should get the keys to the government that were responsible somber, sober leaders of government, and the president's, you know, saying the guy can't get elected dog catcher, but he, Corker's calling him a liar. Like, what should voters think about this going into the midterm election? Uh, what they should think about are the results we achieve for the American people. So, what, you know what we're focused on? What's within our control, and what's within our control here in Congress is getting stuff done for the American people and getting a healthier economy, bigger paychecks, more take-home pay. That, to me, is what's important. At the end of the day, I, I know Bob well. Bob's going to vote for Tennessee. He's going to vote for America. He's going to vote for tax reform because he knows it's in the best interest of Americans. So put this, this Twitter dispute aside. The fact is we have a historic chance of actually fixing this tax code, giving people pay raises, and getting the American economy growing at the rate where we can actually get bigger paychecks, more take-home pay, a healthier economy. That's what matters. So all this stuff you see on a daily basis on Twitter this and Twitter that, Forget about it. Let's focus on helping people, improving people's lives, and doing the things that we said we would do that accomplishes that. That's what we're focused on. You going to ask about this? Or? Uh, I'm tax reform. All right. Are you objecting to proposed uh, pay fours? How do you plan to lower rates without any pay fours? I course? would love to answer that question because that's what the Ways and Means Committee chairman does. Uh, <laughs> But um, I'm going to have to defer you to Kevin Brady. The Ways and Means Committee, they're the ones who hold the pen on this thing. They're the ones negotiating this bill, writing this bill. So all these questions will be answered very shortly when the Ways and Means Committee puts out their mark. But if you have any specific questions you want to ask about it, I would encourage you to ask the Ways and Means Committee because this is their jurisdiction. Um, are we on track to finish this by deer hunting season, the Saturday before yeah, the Yeah, in the season? house, yes. So there's different deer seasons. There's bow season, there's gun season, there's muzzleloader season. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you see with the beard, you'll know when the season is. No, so, uh, um, yeah, we get this done by Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving week is, is opening week of, of, of gun season. So our goal is to get it out of the House by then. The Senate's going to be a little slower on their track. 
because as you know, uh, tax goes first in the House. That's the Constitution. Um, by muzzleloader season, I can't remember exactly when muzzleloader season. Let me check with the Wisconsin muzzleloader season. I usually just do bow in December, so um, our goal is to get it done by the end of this year. I thought you were giving it up if, they, if that's what it meant for tax reform. That's right. You know, if, yeah, we, we'll give up Christmas if we have to for tax reform. That's what I said before. I'm, okay, you're going to quote me on that, aren't you? I'm just joking about that. We're going to get this done. Yeah, look at Casey. Yeah, you guys are going to. You're staying here with us too. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Look, so that's what conference committees are all about. Thank you, everybody.